morning you guys welcome back to another vlog so today is saturday i am getting ready for the day um it is about noon yes just one honey. anyway um it's about noon right now we have a, a adoption party to go to at noon today so i'm just getting ready not doing anything crazy because it's gonna be outside and i'm just not about that life right now so I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on, do my hair. I washed my hair this morning. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it. But I wanted to go ahead and start this vlog and tell you guys hi. And I don't know what all we're gonna get done this weekend, but I'm just gonna take you along and see what all we can. I did have some groceries delivered because I'm making um, some food for the party. Um, so I'll show you that haul in just a second. I'm not gonna have a normal grocery haul because I did not cook last week because my sink is broken and I refused, so. So I'm just gonna share with you my grocery haul. Like in this video, it's very, very small. I just needed just like a few things to get us through the week. Um, and then for the get together that we're having today. So after the adoption party, is like an after party for the adults, so. Of course, I'll have my kids because I'm not sending them to their grandma's today. Um, but we're just going to like hang out and have some drinks and stuff. They're having jungle juice, but I don't. That's really not my scene. So I'm not going to partake in that. But I probably will just bring like some wine coolers or something just to like enjoy myself while I'm there. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get ready. Put makeup, hair on, and then... I will share with you the grocery haul. like me and my husband's clothes separately I wash everyone's clothes separately actually just because I feel like it's easier for me to do the laundry if I don't have to go around the house to as many places to put away laundry so it just helps my brain to just wash everything separately so um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my husband's I have not washed his this week because has way more clothes than I do so I always try to wash my laundry on Wednesdays too and then um, I can usually go like two weeks without washing the kids laundry so I probably won't do theirs this weekend I'll do it next weekend but I will still need to do my laundry because I only have two sets of scrubs so anyway there's that also my desk was delivered today so here's what it looks like hopefully my husband will put that together later and then here's what my chair looks like. It's not the prettiest. I don't know why it's so grainy in here. Um, it's not the prettiest, but it's functional. So I'm gonna go with it for now. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. Okay, so we will start down here. I got Devil's, Devil's Food Kid Mix for the um, dump cake. I'm gonna do Reese's peanut butter chips on top instead of chocolate chips like I did last time, and I think that will be better. I needed to get pudding, but they did not have it, and the woman that I was chatting with, she said that um, there was no other option. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to a separate grocery store before I make this cake today and go get pudding because I have to have it for the recipe. And then I got two blocks of cream cheese. I'm making street corn dip, which is a TikTok recipe so i'll try and leave that link down below for you but i'm gonna make that today for the after party and then i got two cans of sweet corn two cans of southwest corn for the corn dip also got some mayonnaise just because we needed it and it was in my cart so i went ahead and got it and then i got some pepper jack cheese for the um 
dip as well. You were supposed to get the block, but my Walmart didn't have the block in eight ounces, so I just got sliced and it will be fine. Also got some more of these multi-use pans. I got a 10 pack because I don't have a dishwasher or a sink right now, so I'm having to wash dishes by hand. So if I can make things easier on myself, I'm gonna do it. So that's what I did there. Also got some more formula for my daughter. We normally use the parent's choice, but they did not have it. So I had to get Similac, which is fine. It'll only last us like two days, but it'll be fine. And then I got a party size of the tortilla chips for the street corn dip and then some more diapers for my daughter. So did you want to show them your star student paper? Do you want to talk about it? You want to, how'd you get that? Uh, I got it from, when I go to the cafeteria, um, yeah. um, I got it and... I got one of those sticker thingies go on your fridge. Yeah, a magnet, right? Mm hmm Yeah. I didn't get one. I, I got ice cream from the cafeteria. Well. Yeah. They didn't give me any. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you have to read it. Yeah, we can't show them that, though, because they'll know where we live, and we can't do that. Okay, so we have a little get-together to go to later today, so I am going to make some street corn dip. So I have two cans of the Southwest corn that I have drained. I'm gonna add that in. And then I'm going to add two cans of sweet corn that I'm gonna drain. <clears throat> and then I've got this um, Rancho Taco Night seasoning mix that I'm just gonna throw in just cause I wanna use it up and I think it would be a good addition. Not necessary, the recipe does not call for it, but I just wanted to add it. And then I've got um, 16 ounces of cream cheese here. I The recipe is calling for, or I'm actually doubling the recipe, but I forgot to get extra cream cheese. But I still think it'll be okay because when I had this in a friend's house, it was very like liquidy, if that makes sense. Not like liquidy, but there was just a lot of sauce. So I think two blocks is gonna be fine. So now I'm going to, it says a half a cup of sour cream. And I'm gonna do a cup because again, I'm doubling this. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't measure stuff like this. I feel like that's good. And then the recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm gonna use just a little bit of mayonnaise, maybe like half a cup, um, just because I don't know, I feel like it needs it. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab smoked paprika and then I have this onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper mix that I like to um, mix together and just add to like everything that I cook. So I'm just gonna add that and then add just a little bit of smoked paprika, maybe like half a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna mix this together. And then I've got, like I said, cream cheese. I'm just gonna plop these on top. Okay, and then last thing is eight ounces of pepper jack. All they had at my store was the sliced. So we're just gonna add the sliced pepper jack in. And I'm just gonna kind of like layer it. And then we'll pop a lid on it and cook it on low for about four hours or until everything is melted. Okay, so for this get together, I am also doing a dump cake. It's a chocolate dump cake. And I actually made this for my girls night last weekend and it was a huge hit. So I have a box of Devil's Food Cake Mix here. I'm just gonna dump it in the bottom of this pan. Maybe. It doesn't really matter how it looks because we're gonna mix it in just a second. Um, and then we are, so my Walmart did not have pudding. So I looked online and I, I found like um, equivalents for uh, Bristol, please stop. I found equivalents for pudding. So it's actually one 
a tablespoon of cornstarch to two tablespoons of uh, sugar. So I'm gonna do cornstarch and I'm gonna go grab some sugar. I'm just gonna give this like a quick mix. We'll see how this turns out. I just don't have time to go to the store like I planned to go get pudding. So we're just not, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try this. And then you just wanna sprinkle just like you would the pudding. Okay, and then here comes the part that I really don't understand, but it's in the recipe, so we're gonna do it. I'm actually just gonna do this real quick. Okay. Um, okay, and then it is half a cup of butter, which is one stick. I had like six tablespoons, and I'm not gonna like do the whole thing with another stick of butter, so. So I have about almost a half a cup. It's like maybe a little bit more than a third. But what you wanna do is you wanna melt your butter and then add two cups of milk, which is kind of redundant because once it once this cold milk hits the butter, it just, it doesn't melt. Or like it's not melted anymore. So you gotta kinda work fast. So I've got two cups here and then it's just like a little bit more. It's like half a cup or something. So I'm just gonna add that really quickly. And then you gotta work quick before the butter really starts to solidify. So I'm just gonna mix this. And then what I did not do last time was mix in some chocolate chips and I'm definitely gonna do that this time. So I just have like a half a cup here. Sorry, my kids are being obnoxious today. I'm just gonna mix these in. Cause I think that it really needed it last time. So I'm just gonna mix them in. And then the fun part, I'm gonna use peanut butter chips this time. Last time I did just regular chocolate chips and everyone was like, man, I think this would be really good with peanut butter chips. And I was like, you know, you're right. So I'm gonna add peanut butter chips to the top. And how do I wanna do this? Oh, make sure you throw some on the floor. I think I'm just gonna start sprinkling. You're only supposed to do a cut, but I'm gonna do all of it. I like to live off my life on the edge. Okay. And you just kind of want to kind of make sure they're in a single layer. Okay. And then this is gonna go in the oven for about an hour. You want to check it and just make sure that it's getting done in the middle because I found that mine didn't get quite done in the middle at an hour. So maybe you just like check it about an, after an hour. So this is going in. I 
switching, like just getting it dry off of your brush. I'm going to use How about you turn it the right way and turn this way? It's a lot more effective that way. There you go. Hi. Got it. Come here. Nope. Everything's on the pretty much. Look at you. <laughs> We're out. And then I have two dishwasher pods to my name left. Pam. We're gonna give the great value ones a try. Where are you so going? I went to the Cascade Complete. And they were a big price for 32 uh, packs. I wasn't mad about it. But I did not give you permission to leave the bedroom. And they've gone up in price, so that's why I didn't have to continue to get those. <laughs> I've been getting the finished ones from Amazon, so this one is a better deal. So that's everything we got. You're going to come, come back. Walmart picked up $59, and we got some free steak. Okay. All right, come on. Come on. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Go over there. Where are you going? So I want to get a drink. Just kidding. Yep. Uh, I can see your toes. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>